Yeah, to Mongolia. Ambassador Richard Wang, and thank you, Ambassador. Thank you. Uh, ten past three, and <laughs> we'll have coffee for you somewhere in the morning. <laughs> um, Mongolia finds itself in a very difficult position. How do you juggle between these three very different systems? Yeah. Well, Mongolia is in a tough neighborhood. Uh, and, but we're very proud of Mongolia's democracy. We're proud of Mongolia's uh, democratic transition in the last three decades. Uh, and our interest is obviously in preserving and strengthening Mongolia's democracy, ensuring it has uh, open market economy, access to the outside world. You see, that's the problem. It doesn't have access to the outside world. All the power, or much of the power comes from China. They can switch it off if they want to. All the exports go out via China. They can switch that off if they want to, and they have done. Mm -hmm. And to the north with Russia, mm -hmm. well, I mean, uh, the, 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 that's a difficult situation. So I think that's where economic resiliency and economic diversity come into play, and, and that, those were the topic of discussions in the Prime Minister's visit to Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago, where we talked about realizing that Mongolia is in a geopolitical situation. It has permanent borders with China and Russia, but at the same time, it can diversify its economy. Right. Do you see it now as a strategic country for the United States? Yes. It has always been a strategic company, uh, country because of its democracy, because of its commitment to open market economy, uh, and, its, and its commitment to its people and its human rights and its values. And all the, the, the sort of even in the military relationship, um, is strong and deepening and could deepen further in the future, it, which, would, which would arguably really put the cat among the pigeons. Well, you know, for Mongolia's military, what we're, we're particularly proud of is its commitment to peacekeeping. It plays an oversized role in the global peacekeeping operations. It's been in Iraq and Afghanistan. It stood shoulder to shoulder with American soldiers. They were one of the last countries to leave in Afghanistan with us. Uh, they, they're playing an, a, a, an important role in global peacekeeping. So what do they need to do to open up? I, and, I, and I know that when you live in somebody else's house, you don't go around criticizing the wallpaper. <laughs> I understand that. However, the US does have some strong views on what could be done to strengthen democracy here. Yeah. And I don't just mean changing the constitution here, there, everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's true. And I think part of it is empowering its people. Part of it is ensuring that Mongolia's commitment to f tackling corruption, making sure that its rules uh, its rule system continue to strengthen. Uh, I talk about uh, diversifying its economy, not just critical minerals, but the digital economy as well, things that don't need actual borders for it to be prosperous. Uh, these are things that we want to see Mongolia invest in, and these are the things that the United States of America committed to helping Mongolia achieve. One of the interesting things, of course, is that the Mongolian government has changed peacefully after elections. Yes. So they've had the experience, unlike other neighboring countries or other countries in the region, where a change of government comes at great pain. Uh, there's going to be an election next year. Clearly, you're not going to involve yourself in the, the domestic politics of, um, uh, of the country. But is the US confident of a free and fair election here next year? We're very confident. We're, we're very um, hopeful that Mongolia has commitment to achieving its democratic uh, reforms, its continued democratic transition. And, you know, look at, look at Mongolia this way. It is the strongest, if not one of the strongest democracies right. on the Asian continent. Ambassador, you've been here a few months. Have you tried these? I have, yes. Do, I mean, do, these are curds, um, cheese curds, which are then covered in blueberry or some sort of deliciously... Do have another. Help yourself. It's three <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Thank you. I, yes. Thank you very much. Very wise. Thank you, Master. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.